I said I gotta keep it kosher In a room full of vultures uh, Until them eggs blow the chauffeurs I'm a L.O.Z. soldier L.O.Z. soldier I gotta keep it kosher This real life mentality We ain't war with flesh and blood We war with principalities These pastors be manipulating scriptures They some Pharisees are infidel It's worse than these cracks If you ask me Gotta keep it kosher This real life mentality We ain't war with flesh and blood We war with principality These pastors be Manipulating scriptures, they some Pharisees are infidel, it's worse than these cracks if you ask me. Don't like this, man. What do we call you a nigger, sister? How we, God is racist. God is racist. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. God is racist, sis. Jesus, bro, I'm telling you, man. Our people are finished out here, man. We got to wake up to who we are as a people, man. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 6. Read up! Uh -huh. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people, no, above, above, above all people. people. No, below. Above, above all people. people. Right, so the Most High God said the children of Israel is above all people, man. If, I, if, if I'm not mistaken, that, that's racist, right? Word. That's racist, right? Somebody, um, somebody give me a, who, who got... Give me the definition of racist. Somebody give me the definition of racist, man. Because we gotta under, we gotta stop we gotta stop having a mindset of, of of these religions, man. Christianity, man. Thinking that all all are one. Everybody's equal. All men are created equal. That's garbage according to the most high God, man. Every man is not created equal. All nations are not created equal, man. The most high God said the children of Israel is above all people, man. Read out. Come on, get that. Down. Racist, racism. Uh -huh. The belief that race accounts for differences in human character right. or ability, uh -huh. and that a particular race, is, uh -huh. and that a what, and that yeah, a particular yeah, race, that a particular race, you know, is superior. To what? It's superior. Is what? It's superior. It's superior, right? To others. Right, and that's that's what we just read out of the scriptures. Do you believe that God is racist? No. We read that again. Read that again. Why don't you believe God is racist? No, I'm asking you a question. Why do you Why? believe that God is not racist? I think he, I think he created everybody. So he's but did he create everybody to be equal? Yes. Okay. You sure? Yes. Do, you, do, you, do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. Can you show me a scripture that says everybody was created equal? No. Confirm that! <laughs> Read that. Read that. We are created all. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 7. Oh, no. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. This is talking about the children of Israel. It said the children of Israel are a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Read on. And do you know what holy means? Yes, sir. What, is, what does it mean? This is, well. Come on, <laughs> Better put it this it way. It means separate. Separate. Holy, separate. holy is to be separate. Right, not right. People. Right, chosen separate. Ones. Yeah, who are the chosen Which ones? I am one. You're the chosen one? I'm a chosen where, one. where are you from? What's your nationality? I am from Irish. I'm Ireland. I am German. I'm, I'm Scottish, and I'm Indian. So where in the Bible does it say that the Germans, the Irish, the people from Nothing. Ireland are chosen? Can I show you who's chosen according to the Bible? Go ahead. Isaiah 44 and one. Bring it up. Bring it up. Yeah. Isaiah 44 and one. This is what we are out here. We are here to because Christianity has 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 blinded the minds of our people and even you as well. Thinking that you're equal with the Israelites, but you're not. The no. scriptures actually says that you're below the Israelites. Right. But because of our disobedience to God, that's why your people are reigning superior over our people. But it's going to come a time that your people are going to be subject to servitude, to slavery. You, you, you understand that, right? Yeah. It's are you ready now. to go into it's slavery? Now. <laughs> but let, let, me, let me show you this. Let me show you this. Let's see who shows us. The book of Isaiah, the 44, and verse 1. Bring it up. Uh -huh. Yet, now here, all Jacob. My servant, uh -huh. and Israel, and who? And Israel, and who? And Israel, and Israel. Read on. Whom I have chosen. Who my what? Who I have chosen. So the Most High God chose the Israelites. He yeah. chose them to be above everybody else. Yeah. That's who the Most High God is dealing with. So now, how do you how do you feel about the oppression that my people have to go through and continue to go through to this day? How do you feel about that? Well, how I feel about that? I, I feel that that's that's wrong. That's you feel that's, that's wrong? wrong. Yes, okay. because. We should be all created. Jesus has made us all, right? Right? He made us Israelites. He made He made you. He made us. He made everything. He made the world. He made He made the animals. He made everything, right? So I feel like we should all live one one world and prosper. Everybody. Okay. Now, 
Does God support what you just? Does God support what you just said? Because the, the scripture says that we have to let God be true and every man a liar. So everything that's according to the scriptures, yeah. we have that 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 is oh, that is that reigns higher than how we feel. So now let's see what the scripture says about what you just said. Okay. Uh -huh. Second Ezra six fifty four. The, the book of Second Ezra for the six and verse fifty four. Bring it up. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all, thy creature. So we all come from Adam, right? Would you yeah, agree with that? Yeah, and Eve. Yes. Okay, we all, but we all come from Adam. Adam. Every, came, every single person comes from that's Adam. That's right, right, that's okay. right. Read on. Of him come we all. all right, him come we all, read on. And the people also, whom thou hast chosen. Oh, what? Who who God, who God, God, God chosen. And we just read in the scripture before, who did God choose? Israelites. The Israelites, right? Right. Okay, read on. Verse 55. All things have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So the scripture just said that God makes the world for the Israelites' sakes. Right. God is only dealing with the Israelites. Right. But it's going to get more into detail about your people, though. Let's read on. Right. Verse 56. Uh -huh. As for the other people. As for what? As, as for, for the, the other, other people, people. As for the other people, the people that are not chosen. Right. Huh. Right. Okay, read on. Which, oh, yeah, read on. Which also come from Adam. Uh huh. Thou hast said. That they are nothing. They are what? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. They are what? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. They are what? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. So the scripture just says everybody else that is not chosen to God is nothing. Right. How do you feel about that? Uh, well, I confounded. <laughs> <laughs> confounded. <laughs> read on, read on. But it's gonna get I'm more excited about though. that one. Yes. It's gonna get more into read on. Yes. But be like unto spittle. But, but, but what? But, but be like unto spittle. But what? But, but be like unto spittle. So God is comparing the other nations as to spit. If you if you spit if you walk in right you walk in somewhere right and you spit on the ground are you gonna care about that spit that you just spit out of your mouth? Do you, do you care? Why why should you care about the spit that I came mean, out of your mouth? It's, first of all, it's it's immoral. It's that's under the Bible though. No, on the Bible no, you shouldn't care. Huh? You shouldn't care. No. Right, you shouldn't care. No. And that and that's exactly how God feels about your people. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't care about your people. He only cares about us, the children of Israel, because that's who we are. But read on. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that that falleth from a vessel. Right. So now it's saying that a drop that falls from a vessel, right? If you got a water bottle, right, and and a and a, and a, and a, a, a drop of water falls out of that water bottle, are you gonna care about that drop that just fell out of that water bottle? No. And that's how God feels about your people. That's right. So how do you feel about that? Do, 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 do I don't like it. You I don't like it. it. God should that's, feel about everybody. It should be about the whole world, not just. Your people, my people. It should be about the whole world. You think so? Yes. But does God feel the same way? But aren't there like you just said. Aren't there contradictions in there? What, what, what's the contradiction? Well, the contradictions would be, are, are we talking about the same God? I mean, is Yahweh the same as Jehovah? Yahweh? Is, is, Yahweh. is Jehovah his name? Is Jehovah, Donnie, Yahweh, Yahweh, is Yahweh. Jesus. are we sure they're the Yahweh same is Jesus. God? There is only one God. There's many other gods, but there's only one God that reigns superior. And he's, and he's a God of Israel. Jesus. Give me Joel 2 and 27. Romans 9 and 14. Jesus. Jesus. The latest. The latest, but the Old yeah. Testament gods are confusing. We're not sure if Yahweh yeah, is Jehovah. Right, right. Because right. you said, you right. said that, um, you said, I, I, you said, what did you say? You said that, God is wrong. Right, you said God is wrong, right? But does God care about how we feel? Right. God should care about how we feel. Why should he care about how we feel? Because... God made us, right? Yeah. So God should care about how we feel and how our, our, our reactions and our... Read that. Read that. The book of Romans, to the 9 and verse 14. Read up. What shall we say then? Uh-huh. Is there unrighteousness with God? Right. Is there unrighteousness with God because he chose Israel to be over everybody else? Is there unrighteousness with God because your people have to go into slavery? Read on. God forbid. What do you say? God, God forbid. forbid. What do you say? God, God forbid. forbid. God forbid. Read on. Verse 15, for he says to Moses, uh -huh. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Right. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Right. So God, he can do whatever he pleases. That's he right. can do whatever he, he pleases. Right. So he does not care about how we feel. He doesn't care about how no, I feel. He, cares he doesn't about care about how you feel. But, but what, the way that we feel, oh, the way yeah. that we, the way that things that we do is yeah. what's going to, God willing, get us to the kingdom of heaven. It's but easy. there's nothing that you can do. No. There's nothing that Only you can do. But can I show you? Worship? Can I show you your future? Yeah. Can I show you your future as, yeah. as white people? What's going to happen to white people? What's going to happen? Uh, Revelation 13 and 9. Bring it out! Bring that out. Bring that out. Like we said, God does not care about how we feel. Yeah. His, his, his will is going to reign supreme over how we feel every, every day of the week. 
It don't matter how you feel, it doesn't matter how I feel, or how anybody else right, feels. Right, it's right. everything is according to God's will, you know? Yeah. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. Bring it up! If any man have an ear, let him hear. Uh-huh. He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? He that leadeth into captivity. captivity. He that what? He, he that leadeth into captivity. So who led the, the blacks, Hispanics, and who led us into captivity? What race of people did that? Led us into captivity? Who led our people into captivity? Who led the, the blacks, the Hispanics, the Native Americans? Who led those in, people into captivity? Who led them into slavery on ships, on, on, on boats and things like that? Who did that? What race of people English. did that? The English. Well, more, can you be more specific? Oh. What, what kind of people are they? Um, okay. okay. You can say, we'll, we'll go with that. You said the English, I Caucasians, said English, Caucasian, the Caucasian, the so-called white people? Yes. Right. You know, so it says that yeah. those same people that led my people, our people, into slavery, what's going to happen to them? Read on. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. So that's your future. As a, as a, as a so-called white woman here in America, your future is you're going to be under servitude and slavery to, uh, to all of us. That's right. That's right. That is your future. Free. So how do you feel about that? I don't like it. No, I don't like it because you know what? I didn't. It wasn't this. First of all, that wasn't me. That was my heritage. That was my before I came. Isaiah fourteen and twenty one. Okay. But don't your people still benefit off of the bloodshed that was shed to my people to this day? Don't you still benefit for the things that's happened to my people to this day? I meant that, yes. So wouldn't that wouldn't that make you a guilty by association? But I was the one that did it to you guys. The book of Isaiah, the fourteen. And verse 21, yeah. prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare, prepare slaughter. slaughter. Do what? Prepare, prepare slaughter. slaughter. Prepare slaughter. Read on. For his children. For his children. For the children of your forefathers. Read on. Right. For the iniquity. For the what? For, for the, the iniquity. iniquity. For the iniquity. Read on. Of their fathers. Of their what? Of, of their, their fathers. fathers. So you got to pay for what your forefathers did to my people. And your people are still doing stuff to my people to this day. Shooting yeah. my people down in the streets. You know, planting the drugs in our community so we can kill each other. Promoting us killing each other. Hey, hey, That's hey, what hey. Out here. Let me tell you right, something. I was smart. Listen, listen. We in this condition because of what your people did to us and continue to do what do to us to this day. Listen. It doesn't it doesn't matter if you I, weren't there, you I, still have to pay. Yeah, that's messed up. I shouldn't have to pay for what people did. Okay. But so, I'm telling you right now, uh -huh. when we started the black the pride and everything, the black you know, when we started the thing with the Trump and the Biden and remember the when the racism, racism and stuff like that. What are, you, racism? What, are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? The Black Pride. What, black, what is Black Pride? You guys are Black Pride. Black, you know, black Lives Matter. Black what? Yes. Black, black lives, lives Matter. Matter. I was for you guys. I wasn't against is, is you. That, is that, How about what, that? What, what does that mean? You were for us. Bring that out. Bring that out. So you, do you, do you, 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 do you, do you feel? You so you said you feel sorry for what happened to my people, right? Yes, I do. Are you are you willing to show that you truly feel sorry according to the Bible? You said that you believe in the Bible. Yes, I, I was, do believe the Bible. So, I are you, are, my you Bible. are you willing to show that you're sorry according to what the Bible says? Of course I will. Let's read that. Let's see if you're a woman of your word. The book of Isaiah. The 49 and verse 23. Bring it out. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Uh -huh. And their queens shall be thy nursing mother. So in this day, when when God is gonna choose the is Israel to rule to rule the world, your people, your people are gonna be under servitude because your people are the kings of this world. Your people are the queens of this world. Your people, your race of people run this world right now. So the scripture says, in that day, when that judgment day comes and, and the children of Israel is back into rulership, your people are gonna be under servitude. You're going to be our nursing mothers and our nursing fathers. Now read on. They shall bow down to thee. They shall what? They, they shall, shall bow down, down to thee. So if you're truly sorry about what happened to my people, are you willing to bow down to us? No. You see that? Why not? You don't bow down to nobody. The scripture just said. I ain't just said the scripture said that, but we us. know. I won't so you really bow down to you, but I didn't And you're not a woman of your word. And you're not a woman of your word. Oh, really? But I wouldn't bow down to you. This out of the Bible. I wouldn't. It's on the Bible. So you don't feel sorry about what happened to my right. people. I do feel sorry. And we know sorry you don't feel sorry anyway. Oh, we know really? it's in your spirit not to feel sorry. Uh, how do you know we're just read, my we're reading out of the scriptures. How do you know read what, it I, again. what I go Read it again. Through. Read it again. Read it again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49 and verse 23. Bring it out. A king shall be thy nursing father. Right. And the queen thy nursing mother. Right. They shall bow down to thee. They shall do what? They, they shall bow down, down to thee. thee. So you, you, are, are you willing to bow down to us? Jesus and God. And you, you, eventually, God. you will bow down to him. Yes, I will. But he's the my, scripture just said, he's my father. The scripture just said, if you're truly sorry for what happened to my people, you would bow down to us right now. So you're not truly sorry. But the thing is, 
it doesn't even matter if you're truly sorry anyway. Because at the end of the day, the most high God, he's going to get the last laugh. Oh. Joe 14.3. Right, bring that up. Joe 14.3. The, the most high God is going to get the last laugh. Yes. Your people are going to be under servitude for what happened to my people, regardless if you bow down or not. But that just truly shows you the pride of your people. The pride of your people. Because you're not willing to bow down for the things that your, your forefathers and your people did to us and continue to do to us to this day. You don't feel sorry for us. No, well, you don't. Yeah. We just read you out of the scripture how to feel sorry. You're not willing. You are willing to do that. I need to bow down to you. That's to, what the scripture said. Show my respect. You said you believe in the Bible, right? Yes, I, I believe said? in my so Bible. Why can't you bow down according to what the Bible says? Confounded. <laughs> Confounded. <laughs> why can't you bow down? We're reading out of the Bible. This is. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Is this I'm not saying nothing. First Testament. Is this what Bible is this? This is the King James Bible. The same Bible that's um, everywhere. King James Bible. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. The same well, you Bible. You know what? You know what? It comes down to. Go ahead. The book of Job. Chapter 13 and verse 4. Bring it up. But ye are forget false forgers of lies. Read it again. But ye are forgers of lies. Read it again. But ye are forgers of lies. Your people are forgers of lies. That's right. How, how does, you guys how does, don't how does think Christ you guys look? are forgers of lies? How does, how, what do we lie about? You lie about different things. What? Name one. Name one thing we lied about. Confounded. 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 Oh, oh, but what, Your people are forgers of lies. No, we how does Christ, what does Christ look like according to the Bible? Right. What does Christ look like according to the Bible? I don't know. Is, is, the, is, is he the, the image, the image that they paint of Christ, is that how he looks like? So the blonde hair? No. The, the, the blue no. eyes? So what does he look like? He doesn't look like that. He looks like he has brown hair. Okay. Brown and he, hair. okay. Yeah, he has brown hair. Okay. Jesus has brown hair and he has blue eyes. Really? And that's according to the scriptures? No, I don't know for sure, but I'm saying what I think. <laughs> is what I think. Is he is he a Caucasian man? Is that his race? Is that is that what he looks like? Possibility. Possibility. We don't know. Okay, but it, I can show you out of the Bible. Go ahead, How we look. Go ahead. Start at one. The Book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. Bring it up. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. Uh -huh. And he said and signified it by his angel unto his servant. John. Uh-huh. Read on. Verse one. No, read no. Go read the next verse. Verse two. Who bear record? Who did what? Who, who bear record? record? Who did what? Who, who bear record? record? So there is record of how Christ looks like according to the Bible. So let's see that record of how it looks like and let's see if that matches up to the description that you just gave. Right. Right, go to verse 12. Oh yeah, I don't know for sure. But... Verse 12! And I tired to see the voice that spoke with me. Uh-huh. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Uh-huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the son of man, uh -huh. clothed with a garment down to the foot, right. and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Right, read on. His head and his hair uh -huh. were white like wool. Were what? Were white, white like, like wool. wool. So it said his head and his hair were white like wool. White. White okay. and, and woolly texture. What race of people have woolly textured hair? Um, let me think. English, maybe Irish. English people have woolly textured hair. I don't. Know. Do you have woolly textured hair? Yeah, I do. No, you do not. You have dog stringy hair. That's right. That's the type of hair that you have. I have Caucasian hair. Which is Thank dog you. stringy hair. Right. You I do don't. not have woolly textured hair. My people have woolly textured hair. That's right. Our people have woolly oh, textured so you hair. Think he's, you think he's your, your, you guys is? Oh, let's read on. Let's read on. Let, let's let's see you? if he is. Let's okay. see if he is. Like we said, Go ahead. let God be true. Every man Go ahead. Let's see what the Bible says. All Go. right. So, so hold on, let's, 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 let's recap. He says he has white, woolly textured hair. Right. Does the image that you just portrayed, does he have white, woolly textured hair? Is his hair white? No. So that's strike one, right? Right. Read on. That's why that's snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes right. were as a flame of fire. His, his eyes what? As a flame of fire. As a what? As a flame of fire. He said his eyes were as a, what color is fire? Red. Is it blue? No. So why did so didn't you say he had blue eyes? Right. I thought he had blue eyes, yes. You thought he had blue eyes, yeah. right? I have blue doesn't. eyes. Strike two. You know? Okay. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his isn't the, your feet the same color as the rest of your body? Yes. So it says, and his feet. Read on. Okay. Like unto fine brass. Like what? Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass is brown. Brown, right? Yes. So is he the same complexion as you? Is no. brown, are, are you brown? Is your complexion brown? No, I'm not so, brown. So, read on. Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. As what? As, As if, if they, they burned in a furnace. furnace. So Christ was so dark, it was like he was burned in a furnace. So oh, the image that dark. you just gave, yes. 
like he was black. born in the furnace. Okay. The image furnace. that you just described to me depict what, what we just read here in the Bible. No. Strike three. So you're okay, right. but like that's not Christ. Christ is not a so-called Caucasian man. Right. But who, what race of people put that image out to where our people are believing that Christian and, and and who created Christianity? Right. Who pushed Christianity? What race of people pushed Christianity? Right. Drew, uh, the Jews. The Jews? Yes. Really? Yes. No, the Jews did not. The the the, the Jewish. Okay. The Jewish they're people. Not Jew, they're not Jewish. I mean, they're not. They're not the real Jews. The Caucasian people are the ones that push Christianity to our people. That's your people. And what, what do we go? Go back to Job. Go back to Job thirteen and four. Got a script. What you got? Okay. No, go 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 to Job first and then get that. Go to Job first and then get that. Thirteen and four. Go back to that. Yeah. Because we're just we're just, we're just proving the scriptures right right now to you right now. And your people are a forger of lies. The the image that you believe is Christ is a lie. That is not what he looks like according to the Bible. Why do every single time we see a Jesus, it looks different? He looks oh, brown hair. He has a cloth. People, he has, he people, has a white cloth. Your people push that to to, to support to promote white supremacy. Right. Supremacy. Yes. Really. Yes. Really. Yes. Why would you say that? The Book of Job, chapter thirteen and verse four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But y'all forgers of lies. You know what? But y'all forgers of lies. Your people are forgers of lies, man. And for the, the lies that you continue to put on our people, the things that you continue to put on our people, you're going to have to pay for that. Your race, your whole race is going to have to pay for that. Are you, are, you ready to be a, are you ready to be a slavery? No. Well, you don't have no choice. You understand that, right? Well, but you know, well, we didn't and have and you, don't, you don't feel sorry for anything that you did to my people. Because we just Honestly, told you out of the you Bible how you can say, feel sorry. You want to say supremacy. Like, what do you mean by that, supremacy? What, is, what, is, what does supremacy mean? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying, why you guys all have to attack my ass? I mean, come on now. You guys are attacking me about this. I'm learning this myself too, okay? That's good. I'm That's learning good what learning. you guys you're, are you're, saying. You're learning you're the truth. Oh, bring that out. You're learning this, this, the, the truth of what your people did to us and what your people are going to have to do to pay for that. You're gonna have to be under slavery, under under bondage to my people, right. and that's that's there's nothing you can do about that. You said you believe in the Bible. Everything that I'm proving is coming is coming out of this Bible. Everything that I've said is proven with the Scripture according to the Bible. So you have to pay for what you did to my people. Read that. The Book of Jeremiah, to the 16 and verse 19. Bring it out. Oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles. No, who? The Gentiles. Right, read on. Shall come unto thee uh -huh. from the ends of the earth. Uh -huh. And shall say. What are they going to say? Surely our fathers have inherited lies. Surely what? Surely our fathers have inherited lies. Surely what? Surely our fathers have inherited, 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 inherited lies. And that's what you're going to say in that day. You have inherited lies. Thinking that your people are going to continue to reign superior over, over everybody else. And there is going to come a time in that day. You're going to, your people are going to be brought, brought to your place. You're going to be put in your place. And that's what you got to prepare for. You thinking that Christ will, Christ looked like your people, thinking that your people are going to continue to reign supreme, continue to, to shoot my people down in the streets and get, and get away with it, continue to, to put my people over all this affliction. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. There's going to come a time where your people are going to have to pay for what you did for my, for what you did to my people. Well, you don't think you guys have to pay for what you did to us? What do we do? What You've we done do? to us too. What have we done to you? Have, have, we have we took your babies and threw them into the water to feed the alligators? Yeah. Have we ripped the, the babies out of the stomach of a woman and, 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 and killed them? Have we lich, do we lynch people like, like your people do? Run. Have we done any of those things? So what are you talking about then? What are you talking about? So, but what Donald, have we done to your people? You... What have we done to white people? Confound 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 you. Confound we you. are what are you judged about? all the time by you guys. Oh, all the time. What do you mean all you're the time, all the time. You, ju you judge by you. I get on a bus and I get looked at every time not? by oh, you really? guys. Oh, yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. You get you get on the bus and you get looked yes, at. Yes, I get looked at so because that's, who so, I so, am. So that, oh, so that yeah. compares that compares to my people getting shot down and killed in the streets. That's oh, right. That compares to my people getting getting lynched and hanged too, on trees. Not that not compares to that because you because because you get looked at because you get a weird look from people on the bus. Are you serious? We get judged. So that compares to the things that happened to my people. No, because you get I don't think it compares. So why would you bring judged. that up then? It happens. Why would you bring Devil that up? Devil on three. Every day. One, two, three. Devil! Devil! Bro, give me Proverbs 28 and 1, man.
whatever, whatever. You see, this is this is the pride of the, the so-called white people, man. This is the yeah, yeah. I'm crazy. We get ready for slavery, Esau. Get ready for slavery, Becky. That's right. Get ready for slavery, Becky. That's right. Get ready for slavery. Get ready for slavery, Becky. You see, the things that must be scared of our oppressors are going, man. We don't we don't give a damn what our oppressors think, man. Because we believe in this Bible, and that's what we're gonna believe until the day we die, man. That's right. Read that, man. The book. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us I pray that we make it through the fire This world gon' take us out